Hi, I'm Cecilia Vetter, a librarian at Ruth Lilly Medical Library. This is the fifth video in our evidence-based medicine diagnosis series. In this video, we focus on positive and negative predictive values. Like sensitivity and specificity covered in the previous video, predictive values are a diagnostic test accuracy measure. In the clinical setting, you do not know if a patient has the disease or not. Positive predictive value, or PPV, and negative predictive value, NPV, are directly related to prevalence and allow a provider to clinically say how likely it is that a patient has a specific disease. Prevalence is the number of people who have a disease in a set population at a single point in time and is shown as a decimal or a percentage. Predictive values are always dependent on the prevalence of the disease. The positive predictive value of a diagnostic test, or PPV, is the proportion of people who actually have the disease out of all of the people who tested positive. The negative predictive value, or NPV, is the proportion of people who do not have the disease out of all of the people who tested negative. Using a 2 by 2 table, we can calculate the positive and negative predictive values. To calculate the positive predictive value, divide the number of true positives by the number of all positive tests. So true positives divided by true positives plus false positives. Essentially, this is the percent of people who are truly positive for the outcome of interest out of all of the people who tested positive. To calculate the negative predictive values, divide the number of true negatives by the number of all negative tests. So true negatives divided by true negatives plus false negatives. Essentially, this is the percentage of people who are truly negative for the outcome of interest out of all of the people who tested negative. To help you remember how to calculate predictive values, on a 2 by 2 table, use all of the positive results to calculate the PPV and all of the negative results to calculate the NPV. In the next video, we will discuss the diagnostic accuracy measure likelihood ratios.